Okay, so in here they have um, corn and uh, chicken, which um, stews in here. It's stewed for like 12 hours. Um, and um, it goes with uh, noodle, castaway uh, CJ, which means uh, well, slow down. Noodles with uh, light um, garlic oil, which is just mixing together. Noodles with light garlic oil. Yep. How do you, how do you say it again? Uh, Kao Sui Si Jie. Kao The bones have been stewed for 12 hours to the point where they just break apart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, uh, this is kind of like a vinegar brine with um, chilies. Jalapenos. Um, but I kind of chilies and um, it's really good because it kind of cuts through the oil and the, and the grease which is in there too so it lifts, lifts it, the flavours a little bit. Mm. Mm. Quite a strong garlic flavour. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's all about the pork in there man. Okay alright yeah, alright alright. Get into that goodness. Okay, start with a little bit first. Mm. So soft. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. get all that bone in there. <laughs> Stew it. This off. So tender. Mm -hmm. Oh god, oh my god, it's, it's just like flowing out. So what is this? So this um, is the larvae of the palm weevil. Okay. It lives inside the palm tree. Right. Uh, eats the rotten palm tree. So you can eat it alive or fried? For an entry level I recommend you have it fried first. Okay. I, I think... described it as like, oh, I described it as like a creamed cashew nut cauliflower puree kind of uh, thing going on there. Uh, I feel like I feel like you know I talked myself up at the beginning that I'm down to try anything. Okay. So I gotta gotta live up to my words. All right, let's see what we can do. Uh, so I like to choose the liveliest one. The liveliest um, one. What I'll let you, I would say choose between these guys. Who's your? Oh man. Manager. There you go. All right. Okay, I guess it's been chosen for me. All right. <laughs> goodbye, little bug. <laughs> R.I.P. So you're gonna eat this raw? Yeah. And have you done this before? Oh yeah, I reckon. Okay, all right. To be honest, I can't resist it. When I watch you, um, when I see that you're gonna have one. But <laughs> I, um, oh, this is a nice big one. You see these little nippers on the front there? Yeah, what's that? Is that his oh. feet or something? No, 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 that's where he can, uh, his teeth for oh. eating, eating the wood and decomposing the wood. Jesus, so he so, can bite you yeah, while, so while in your mouth? Well, I don't eat the head. I just okay. oh, oh God. bite it off like this. Uh, Alright, any last words? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, mate. You got anything to say? Doesn't look like it. Silent type. Oh, God. It's, it's really gone. That's just the head. Oh. What does it taste like? Like I said, creamy. Creamy? Like cream coconut, cream cashew. Cauliflower puree, all mixed together, and then wrapped in cling film. But <laughs> the skin is a bit it's crunchy, chewy. Chewy. Oh, crunchy. Okay. Yours will be crunchy. Yeah. But raw, it's chewy, and then it just bursts inside the mouth. Oh god. <laughs> very, very flavoursome. Oh god. Mm. Okay. Good. Oh, I think it's dead. Now, out of all your guests, mm -hmm. what percentage go through with this? I'd say. Um, 15%. 15%? Yeah. That's lower than I expected. Uh, one bite up? Or yeah. Oh. Alright. Okay, there goes nothing. Very crunchy. Mm -hmm. The first bite is like, like you said, the like burst of flavor. Um, it's actually not bad, very creamy, very, um, like I can taste a lot of pepper, so I kind of masked it. it so this is the famous 19th Street. Okay, yeah, this is 19th yeah. Street. Famous for its beer and barbecue, and it's yep. a real lively spot in the evening to hang out. People yeah. Want. So this is like the D place to go in Chinatown. Yeah. Okay. And one of the places to go in the whole of downtown. Oh, down. Okay. All so Yangon, all of Myanmar. <laughs> so what are we here to try? 
Uh, we're going to get some barbecue fish. Barbecue fish? And, uh, oh, okay. Introduce you to the delicacy of Myanmar beer. Alright, cool. So I like the sound of that. Alright, so this is Myanmar beer. Myanmar beer. So everyone in Myanmar drinks this. Yeah. Alright, okay. Cheers. I don't, I don't know if I've seen something that's not vegetarian so green. <laughs> okay. So, so what is this um, called? This is Nakapia. Nakapia. Lime, lime fish. Lime fish. Yeah. Okay. Um, with a uh, whole heap of garlic, uh, chili, uh, coriander, very, very uh, aromatic. Like, mm. The smell is uh, so strong. And how, how is the fish cooked? Barbecue? Um, so it's cooked on the barbecue but in foil so it's steamed oh, ah, okay, inside yeah. the foil. So you still get the smokiness but um, yeah, steam there. So it's very healthy as well. Okay, I like the sound of that. I mean it is green. If you want, I can um, serve you. <laughs> You know, oh, oh shit. sorry. You know, uh, you know I, I can I can take care of myself. Okay. There you go. You got it. There you go. Careful of the bones. Yeah. It's quite chilly. Yes, about. Yeah. So you gotta, if you peel the back, there's a little surprise in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are the little insider tips we give you on the tour, so. Oh, okay. If you want to know what the prize is, just look on the back of a Myanmar beer bottle. So that's the top top prize at the top. Yeah. Five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifty million. Mm -hmm. Damn. All right, but what are you what are you most what are you more likely to get? A few uh, thousand. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I see the word free. Yeah, there it is. Is that word free? Is that it? <laughs> free something. Free something. Something's free. Uh. Oh, <laughs> we're in! Yeah! <laughs> awesome! I, I feel like I never win these kind of things. <laughs> okay, so this is our barbecue selection. Oh, okay. It's back. Various oh, meats. Seafood, seafood, fish, vegetables, all available for barbecue. Oh, okay. And is this quite safe to eat? Um, you, you need to know which restaurant you're going to, and it yeah. makes a difference um, what time you go there as well. What it's time? It's important to, uh, you know, get there when the food is fresh. Yes, yeah, ice cream roulette. Ice cream roulette. So how does it work? You pay 200 chat? And then, jet, and you then you spin get, the wheel. Spin the wheel exactly. Okay, uh, so so one is just one stick. Two is you get two. Six is the six. <laughs> oh, two. Uh, that's better than one. <laughs> so this is a uh, cricket. Uh, it kind of like cricket. They go in a gona. It's like a, a locust. Locust. Yeah. And how's um, it? How how's it cooked? So he fries it in a bit of turmeric, uh, garlic and ginger. Yeah. And is it like a delicacy or what, like a snack? Yeah, it's a classic beer snack. Uh, this is the fried locust. Is it focusing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks kind of cute, but it's really oily. It smells quite nice. It's very crunchy. You can barely taste the insect part, so. It's like a snack, it's like a chips. It's not bad. Alright, so that wraps up the Sabah Street Food Tour. Uh, it was one of the probably one of the most eye-opening experiences for me in Yangon. Cool. Thank learned you. learned a lot. Uh, so I highly recommend if you got a night to spare, you guys do breakfast tour as well. Breakfast tour, dinner breakfast tour. Breakfast tour, dinner tour. If you got some if you got a half day to spare, uh, come to, come find Mark, yeah. Sabah Food Tours. Uh, it's definitely a great experience and you know what totally worth the money.